Hey guys, it's Evan, and today we're just looking at some, a newer, no, well this is the older, an older and a newer Android phone. Um, this is the Samsung Stratosphere, it's an older phone. Um, it's still got the slide keyboard, so that, from that alone you can tell. And, yeah, this is an older phone, it is rooted though, and has tweak stock installed on it. So that's why it doesn't look stock if you have this one or had it. Because it is running a um, ROM, a custom ROM. Here is the Galaxy S3. Um, this is running CyanogenMod M2. Gosh. And yeah, so this is the newest version of Android. It's 4.2.2. This is running 2.3.5. Not even the newest version available because the ROM has not been updated yet. So we're just going to look at the two OS's pretty much, not really so much the hardware but so much the OS to see how Android has changed over time and the different themes and styles that has gone through in the past. So let's get started. Now when you turn this on, well this doesn't have a lock screen so let's put the lock screen on. Where is the lock screen? I believe it was up here, there we go. Right there, alright. So when you turn on, you have a lock screen. So this lock screen is obviously different than the newer one. So different style than what the newer version of Android has with this lock like this, as well as lock screen widgets. So Google Now. So that's one change. Oh, and I have a newer app that I'm going to be going over later. Um. So yeah, first off, obviously the lock screen has changed. And another thing is, if you pull down, Sound Mod is pretty much stock, and this is pretty much stock. Um, the even the notification drawer is different. It's more of a green and brownish theme, which I actually don't like at all. But even just looking at it, you can tell it's an older OS. It doesn't look as sleek and as futuristic as the one on. Uh, 4.2.2. Uh, sorry about that light in the background. And then you also have the quick settings. And then you can see you have these what, what, um, toggles up here as well as here. So yeah, that's one big major difference is the notification screen or the uh, notification drawer. But pretty much everything of Android is different, even like just swiping. See, it's a lot smoother on the newer one because of Project Butter than it is on older Android. It's a lot slower, a lot laggier on the new one, on the new version of Android. Now, on the app drawer, too, it just, it's really different. I don't have a lot of apps installed on this one because this is on my primary phone. But it's just, oh, install later. It's just a lot different than the newer version of Android, a lot slower as you can tell by going in and out of the app drawer. Just a lot faster and smoother here on Android 4.2.2. And also the way to get to the widgets is different. You can just scroll right into the widgets or up top you can hit apps or, or widgets. Here in order to install a widget, if you go to applications it's not there. So it's not as convenient. You actually have to hold down on the home screen and click widget and find the one you want. I like the newer version of Android a lot better. See so yeah, widgets look. Here are some widgets of um, Flipboard, Twitter, and YouTube. Now here on the Galaxy S3, well here I have Flipboard. As you can see it's just bigger and easier to read. Also this screen is a little bright. And they just look a lot better. Even like the clock here, if Let's just get the clock on Samsung on the 4.2.2. Let's see. There it is. Let's use this one. It just looks a lot better than the one on the older version of Android. It just looks so much better and everything is so much smoother. And one major difference, which isn't really a huge difference, but I think it's a big difference, the settings menu. Now the older version of Android is very hard to make your way through, but here on the newer version of Android, it's a lot cleaner 
and easier to navigate than the older one. So that's pretty much it now as you can that's pretty much it for this video and even just going in and out of apps so much quicker but you know let's go over the camera because the camera is obviously a big one um the camera is a lot better on the galaxy s3 um looking into the screen doesn't really do justice but it is a lot better on galaxy s3 so this is the thing with hardware um on the older version and on the older phone this camera, I believe, is 5 megapixels, which was decent for its time. But you can even just tell by looking into it, the newer one is a lot better. It's just really laggy when moving it around. Not as many features as you have on the newer version of Android. So yeah, that about wraps it up for our look at the two versions of Android. I just wanted to show you guys how much Android has changed. And it really has changed a lot, even like the app's names being highlighted. I hated the look of that. When that came out, I really did not like it. When they got rid of it, it just looks a lot more cleaner. It, still looks, it really looks like a newer operating system, less refined. This one really looks like a top competitor, and I believe Jelly Bean right now is the best operating system, even compared to iOS. So yeah, guys, pretty much it for this video thanks for watching like the video if you liked it subscribe for more check out my other videos and that's it